वेलकम यू आर लिस्निंग रेडियो सेंट्रल न्यूज आम अभिलाषा भरमौरी नाउ न्यूज इन डिटेल India recorded its highest single day spike of 1993 coronavirus cases and 74 fatalities on Friday pushing the overall tally beyond 35000 mark as per latest update from health ministry the total infections stood at 35043 with 1147 fatalities as many as 565 patients recovered in the past 24 hours the data shows taking the total recovery to 8889 Majority of the cases are from the state of Maharashtra where the tally breached 10000 mark and reached 10498 with 583 fresh cases as many as 27 more deaths were reported in the state taking the total fatalities to 459 Gujarat at distant second registered 313 fresh cases bringing the total infections in the state to 4395 17 more people succumbed to the viral infection taking the casualties to 459 Delhi continues to maintain its third position with 3515 cases and 59 deaths as many as 82 fresh cases and 3 deaths were reported in past 24 hours in the view of significant gains from the ongoing lockdown measures for covid-19 situation in the country center on friday extended the lockdown for another 2 weeks with effect from may 4th the ministry of home affairs also issued new guidelines to regulate different activities in this period based on the risk profiling of the districts of the country into red green and orange zones the guidelines have permitted considerable relaxation in the districts falling in the green and orange zone the green zones will be the districts with either zero confirmed cases till date or no confirmed case in the last 21 days The classification of districts as red zones will take into account the total number of active cases, doubling rate of confirmed cases, extent of testing and surveillance feedback from the districts. Classification of districts into red, green and orange zones will be shared by the Union Health Ministry with the states and union territories on a weekly basis or earlier as required. While states and UTs can include additional districts as red and orange zones, they may not lower the classification of a district included by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare in the list of red or orange zones. The Ministry of Home Affairs asked the Railway Ministry to operate special trains to ferry people stranded due to the nationwide lockdown to their native places. In an order issued by the Ministry of Home Affairs to all chief secretaries of states and administrators of union territories, the Union Home Secretary Ajay Bhalla, referring to sub-clause under Clause of 17 of Consolidated Guidelines, said, "Migrants, workers, pilgrims, tourists, students, and other persons stranded at various places is also allowed by special trains to be operated by the Ministry of Railway." The Railway Ministry will designate nodal officers for coordination with states and UTs for their movement and the Ministry will issue detailed guidelines for the sale of tickets and for social distancing and other safety measures to be observed at train stations, platforms and within trains. The Home Ministry letter also stated the rest of the conditions stipulated for movement of persons as per the sub-clauses of the revised and consolidated guidelines issued on April 15 will apply to such movements. A special court in Mumbai extended the CBI custody of businessmen brothers Kapil and Dheeraj Wadhwan of DHFL Group in connection with Yes Bank scam till May 8. The duo was arrested last Sunday from a quarantine facility at Mahabaleshwar in Satra district nearly 50 days after they were booked in the case of bribery against former Yes Bank CEO Rana Kapoor. The Wadhwans were produced before a special court here on Friday as their previous remand ended. The Central Probe Agency sought their further custody, saying it needed to probe the deeper conspiracy between the Wadhwans and Kapoor. The agency alleged that there are more than 150 shell companies controlled by the Wadhwans, which they want to examine. Besides, there are several companies floated by Rana Kapoor and his family, and it needed to check whether they had any transactions with these companies, the agency said. Defense advocates to both the CIFOs, the CBI's plea, saying their custody was not required as everything was under court. However, the court extended the custody till May 8th. The government on Friday slashed prices of LPG cylinder by rupees 162, giving a breather to people who are struggling to cope with the economic crisis as a result of lockdown imposed to curb the spread of global pandemic coronavirus. According to the country's leading oil marketing company, the new rates come into effect from today. In Delhi, the price of a 14.2 kg non-subsidized cylinder has been reduced from rupees 744 to rupees 581.50 for the month of may the government gives 12 cylinders at a subsidy rate to the lpg consumer in a financial year and on demand for more than that the market price has to be paid 
in the rate in Mumbai will be rupees 579 per cylinder. It will be available at rupees 584.50 in Kolkata and rupees 569.50 per cylinder in Chennai. Radio Central News appeals you to stay at home and follow the guidelines given by the government from time to time to defeat this fatal virus. Please maintain social distancing and don't panic. Stay tuned to Radio Central News for more updates.